Good morning, it's me, Mikey Pipes. And this morning, I am in Island Park. Island Park, Long Island. Customer was called in last week for a tune-up and to replace two thermostats. I walk in the house and he tells me that the heat on the first floor just won't turn off and the thermostat is blank, it's dead. So I need new thermostats. And I was like, hold on one second. I'm here for a tune-up, but your boiler's not working properly. He goes, no, the thermostat's bad. And I'm like, that's why I said bring two thermostats and do a tune-up. I'm like, so, so let me rephrase one more time. The first floor heat is not controllable, yet you think it's a thermostat and I'm here for a tune-up. Is that correct? He goes, yeah. I was like, but fix it. I was like, okay, well, if you want me to fix it, it's not a tune-up. I'm, I'm here for a repair at that point, which is a different rate. I explained to him the rate and here we go. Is the first floor thermostat, I mean, sorry, is the second floor thermostat on or off right now? Do me a favor, could you turn it to uh, off, please? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. So, first floor, pumping out tons of heat. All right, it's hot as F. Thermostat's off the wall. And we have number one, see? No resistance. No resistance there. So let me get my little step stool and we're gonna give you a little better close view. Sir? Yes, sir. If you wouldn't mind now raise the temperature, please. Upstairs? Yes, to uh, you know a higher point than it's actually reading. In heating mode, I appreciate it, thank you. Let's confirm that when he does that, this opens. So let's wait for it. So we have there we go. We had resistance, and now we have no resistance. So it's open. All right. And this is open as well. The resistance not even on the wall. So now let's double turn it off. Sir? Sir? Sure. Hi, if you wouldn't mind, you can turn that back to where you would like it to be. All right, thank you. You're very welcome. I'm going to get some things from the truck and figure out what's going on. So you're a musician. No mechanical ability. I'm you, you, you want to sing us a tune while we work? Oh, God. Whistle while we work? Oh, isn't it a Disney thing? Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, boy. No. Of course, this day and time, it can't be music at all, so... Um... All right. Yeah. Now, sure you head over to your apartment to go to a hemp Say it again? Oh, okay. Let's see. It was stuck. Shot, zone valve. Shot. All right. Take out the zone valve. Replace it. The uh, the well plain Ultra Threes, like you have. Um, there's a, a good amount of them out there. Yeah. So let me tell you what your problem was. Uh, what the solution is, yes, and ways to prevent this from occurring in the future. Yes, sir. So for number one, here is a th um, one of the lesser expensive thermostats that we install. What do you think is the best? It's fine. Yeah, that's good. Okay. It has a large digital display on okay, it. It runs on two batteries. Good, good, good. It has a five-year part, uh, five-year warranty oh, from the good. manufacturer. It's a, good, it's a very good thermostat. Good. I'll take that. Yeah. Um, these two silver things up here. Yes, sir. I'm those sorry. are called zone valves. Oh, okay. Uh, they're based, think of it as an electric valve that is operated by the thermostat. Right. And when the thermostat tells it to, hey, heat, it it um, opens a motor, opens the valve, it, yeah. and then it tells the boiler to turn on. Oh, okay. All right. In this particular case, and they were labeled correctly, so this was number one, which right. is first floor, this is number two, which is right. second floor. Right. I had asked you to make sure that the second floor thermostat was off first, right. and I made sure that this was closed or off, and then I asked you to turn it on, and then it opened, and right. then I asked you to turn it off, and then, okay. it, then it worked. Right. So I know that number two, two is the second floor, and number one 
is the first floor. Yeah. So when I took the cover off, again, I have a lot of experience dealing with these things. I know what the first thing to look for is, and I just tried to nudge it a little bit, and then it started to, you know, close with, like, it's broken. It's broken. So I need to replace this zone valve here, okay. and the problem goes away. Good. Now your yeah. thermostat is blank. Now, if you want, we could just probably just change the batteries, but it's an older thermostat, the Home Depot special. That's what we call in the trades. You know, like it's not meant to yeah, last forever. You don't know, put that in there. Well, I can put it in here. Ah, okay. That's now, with regards to, I know you said Sears Home Services was maintaining the the, the boiler. Right. Um, unless they took out this washing machine, there's no way that this boiler was serviced the way uh, I, I can show you the manual. Right. And the way it was serviced properly, because the full service on this boiler, mm -hmm. which unfortunately they say should be done annually, right. a experienced technician with nothing in the way, about two hours. Wow, so when this thing coming, you pull it out. Yeah, like, I, like, like the cover has to come off, we have right, to disconnect okay. the gas, we have to take apart the burners, we have to use a special sword to scrub wow. the inside of the boiler. A, an experienced technician with plenty of access is usually about two hours, okay, two and a half hours. So in here, you have the washer and dryer in front of it. This has obviously got to come out, and this is a very you know tight spot here, but it is what it is. So yeah, 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 yeah. moving forward, you know, we should do that. Yeah. It actually hasn't been done in a while, because again, the dry, the wash machine is right in front of the unit, and we can't, I can't get the cover off, but we may have to move things around a little bit, but let's fix the immediate issue. Fix the immediate Let issue. me make sure that it's running safely yes. and properly, yes. and then, Maybe schedule a time. That what? sounds, that would be great. Very I appreciate good. so much your help, you know. My and pleasure. We're only here to help. I, I appreciate that, Jay. My pleasure, my pleasure. So you said you're a musician, huh? Yeah. I'm what are you, what were you, a composer? No, you... I was a, a performer on the road. I worked for uh, all the, uh, uh, I had agents across the country and I do concert programs, you know. Ah. A mixture of Broadway, Sinatra. Some classical music. I worked in the Florida market for a while. And Very nice. Everything's dried up because of the pandemic. So That's correct. Now what I do now is I uh, canter. I got a job at a Catholic church cantering. Oh, very nice. Yeah, and then I do that. And I director. I'm director of a choral society here. And okay. I, private, I just did a private party. Well, I'm getting some private parties where I go in for birthdays and sing some Italian. Most of them Italian. I sing Italian songs and things like. Oh, that. Oh, you do. Yeah. Like Andre Bocelli? Yeah, exactly right, yeah. I've got like 30 videos on YouTube. I've got... Some, really? i got two albums. You're, how many subscribers you got on YouTube? Oh, it depends. Somewhere from 1,000. I don't have... You know, people like me don't get big subscribers. A classic car. If you're a big name or pop or TikTok... No, I don't. See, that's the, that's the wrong... That's the wrong mentality. And I, let me tell you why. Because I am a... Fr and I'll tell you, I'll give you a little hint. And I am a firm believer that... Some people who are just, I want to say bored, but just need some excitement. Yeah. I, I, if you put a webcam, yeah. right, at a traffic cone, sitting in front of a parking lot, yeah. you'll get a thousand subscribers. In like, oh, a, a, yeah, a, a exactly. Yeah. So. Anyway, I got, a couple, I got an album out on Amazon and uh, digital stuff like that. Oh, wow. What's the name of your channel? It's, it's, a, it's under an Italian name called Rinaldo Colia. On a, you have a YouTube channel. Okay. I've got like Italian song. I got time to say goodbye up there, and I've got uh, a Neapolitan Bentley, and I've got uh, um, wow you know, things like that. Lots of different things. That's pretty good. Yeah, you know, I've always been. Uh, so, uh, yeah. so classical Italian. Yes, basically, you know, things like I do. I do um, things like well, I do get people say, hey, you know, like example, Valari, but this particular party was a nine-year-old Italian, and she wanted specific songs, but she wanted Mama, Oi Marie, things like that. Uh. Uh, Nessun Dorma. So um, you get that kind of stuff. Mostly nowadays, the modern weddings you get now where people, like example, they want the, 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 the Ed Sheeran had a popular song he had recorded with Andrea Celli. I've done some of that stuff. And people really only know now the younger people only know now Volare and that's Amore. Everything else. Yeah, Volare. Yeah. But you know, the thing about it is, though, I do standards like Sinatra stand, New York, New York. Uh, I, have, I have a version of my way. So I, I've been working for the last 10 years in Villa Roma. Uh, oh, okay. This year. But, you know, because of the pandemic, you know, they're not getting the traffic, the seniors. Exactly. Because they're so scared, you know. They're, they're scared to go out. In fact, I had a real problem. I had a problem with my choir. I have a choir here in Oceanside, if they're all seniors, 
some people um, didn't come back this year because they're afraid to come out of the house. Wow. Um, yeah, it's it's a shame, you know. But uh, you know, I try to deal with it best I can. So I, I've gone in a different manner, which it seems to have worked out for me. Okay. Right? It's just money coming in, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, you got to pay the bills, you know? You got to do something differently, you know what I'm saying? Let's take it to you have to do. So, three wire conductor, Wago, and one, one, two, and three. So, let's put one there. I had kind of figured when that person came the last time for Sears, they basically were like, do it just doing a um, look a visual look and see thing you know? yeah a looky looky you know a lot of uh a lot of those bo those boxed big brand uh yeah. service providers they just um unfortunately they don't do the right thing and it's just it's just uh it's a shame you know it's a shame right so when you guys sent the thing to me this year again i decided let me tell you something give my guys a call and then i'm gonna work out a plan a service plan yeah, and it uh, it got cold a little bit earlier than normal, and then it warmed up like. Yeah. Yesterday was a nice day. Yeah, but you know it's got a thermos. It's supposed to thermos to like just come on around. Uh, it's supposed to start doing heat around what fifty some degrees or something like that. It's supposed to come on. Well, it depends on what your what your system is set to. The thermostat it's, it's, it's is set it's to. Got a, it's got a thermostat outside that's built out there. Yes, yeah, so it's called an outdoor temperature sensor or it's an outdoor oh, reset. God, you see that, that that net I put over the left thing there. Put a mesh over the left. Yes. I got birds coming in there. Yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I did bird nest in there last year. <laughs> I hear you. <ya. laughs> Unbelievable. It's all I need. Chirping birds there in the morning hours. So. Yeah, wake you up like a like a rooster. God. Right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, these zone valves are pretty common, so. As far as, you know, one of the things I said, listen, let me explain to you what's wrong, uh, how I can correct it, and how you can prevent in the future. Honestly, with these, there's, there's no way of, you know, telling how, you know, either it works or it doesn't. Right, so it. let's say I did a tune-up today, and then tomorrow, you know, the heat stuck, gets stuck on. It's, it's purely coincidental, but nonetheless, you know, sucks nonetheless. Yes. But with these things, you know, it's either they work or they don't, and... There's no real way of testing. You can look inside, make sure it's nice and clean, whatever. Which, and you know, in the valve I took out, it's fairly clean. Yeah. You know, I don't really. But but it's the. Yeah. So, but if I try to man manipulate it, yeah. Like you can hear it. It's like that's not that's not normal. And the other one, let's test that one. See, it it cooperates. I'm happy about that. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Because to get inside this boiler, I got to like spend half the, day, half the day here. So I'm just putting on some new wire connectors. Yes, sir. Because the old ones really shouldn't be reused. And... So you guys are staying pretty busy now, hoping? Yeah, yeah, we stay busy year-round. Wow, that's great. Yeah. I'll throw a little zip tie right there. Let me put the front cover on. Open up the, the valve. There it goes. Let me close it. Put the cover on. Okay. Now, let me just... Yeah, it's hard to get people... I don't know why it is about this unit, but, you know, a lot of places can't service this unit. I don't know why. No, no. I know. Tell me about it. All right. Print a little label for that. Now, let's swap out the thermostat. And I had a guy come in... Professional guy to do it. It's stuck on Celsius, yeah, and you can't get it to go to Fahrenheit. I can't get it. Here's the you thing. have the manual? Um, yeah, I do. Let me see the manual. Because it's not a Friedrich. It's a classic. Yeah. We tried. And, uh, I bet you I have a solution. All right. Uh, since this house has a crawl space. To fixed. It. Mode and the down button. Hold those down for three seconds, and wow. you're good to go. So, wow. thank you, sir. you're very welcome. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, my boss. My boss is not always happy with me. So, uh. <laughs> do you know, a person like me needs something like your company. Some people are willing to help you, help you become interested to do have things because it's hard. 
it's hard when you're not a person who's a mechanical person. Yeah, I hear you. Either you're mechanically inclined or you're not. You're not. I know. Not and my brother-in-law's a mechanic. He'd do anything. He's a whiz. He's a, uh, a car engine, car engine repair. Anything he could do. He has boom. Oh, very nice. He's got that ability. You know how they are. Yep. Some people have the talents. Some people don't. But it's all good if you do or you don't. You know. It is. We're all Because we all have, we all have our, um, we all have our skills in something. Well, that's what I said. We all have our skills. Everyone has the potential to be great. Right. Exactly. You know. That's the good thing about being human, that's right. Correct. Correct. So you're really going to like this new thermostat, like I showed you before. It's got a nice big digital display on it. Good. It runs on two AA batteries. It'll be good for a year. Good. We'll put this in. You'll be happy. And you'll well, have control. I knew it was time for change. I knew it was time. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. What do we have there? Do we have a stud there? The, um, little stud. They just assassinated this wall. Yeah, I know it, please. <laughs> they just assassinated the wall. Like, yeah, we'll make it work, right? So I'll try to make it better. All right. It's my, it's my job. Do it yeah, better. Yeah, we would eventually love to sell our house down the road, but as it is right now. Oh, you don't like, uh, I well, like it very much, but my, see, my wife has, my wife's family's from Wisconsin. Oh. And her mother still lives, she's 101, but she has a lot of family out there, you know. We Understood, yeah, 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 yeah. Right, it's so about an hour and a half outside of Chicago. It's a nice resort to, when we spent some time out there this year, and she would just let me close to her family, you know what I'm saying? You know yep. They are. And I understand that now. Of course, But of course. she also has a friend in Florida. We have our, our two sons, my oldest son is a nurse in an operating room in East Meadow. And my youngest son... Male uh, nurse. No offense. Let's go. Male nurse. Male nurse. And my old youngest son can't find a job in nursing. Can't find any job. Really? None. Uh, well, when you think, though, that they would... They, they say there's shortages, but they want you to have two years' experience. Ah. So, that's the problem right now. It's where he's trying... South Nassau called him. We're hoping that South Nassau... Call him back. Call him back, yeah. So, right now, he's upstairs. He's still... He lives on the computer every day. Okay. Just holding the mirror, yeah. you know, bang on the wall. You don't want it to fall down. How about yourself? Do you have kids? Yeah, I got four boys. You're kidding. Yeah. Yeah, the youngest is 18. I say no. Youngest is 19. Sorry. Oh, okay, you got married young in life. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's great. Four boys. We got two. I don't understand what four is. Woo. It keeps you going, doesn't it? Yeah, it sure does. Sure does. Yeah. You know, but what a pleasure. Oh, I'm telling you right now, family is the best pleasure. Absolutely. We'll still, we'll still take care of my son, he's 28. He had moved into an efficiency apartment over in Long Beach, hated it, lived there, came, came back and stayed in our house for five months. He's been here. And he finally got a one bedroom in Mineola. Okay. And he's like, so we got moved in yesterday. We got moved in yesterday. I got oh, for the first? Nice. Uh, so now he's trying to get it, the power and everything turned on. So hopefully he'll spend more time over there. You know, in his life. And then you'll have your house back. Well, I have my room. Actually, have my TV room upstairs. I got a, I got a 65 inch TV upstairs. I bought for that room when he moved out. <laughs> and my couch, and he's been there ever since. Yeah, sitting on the couch. Yeah, on the couch. Yep. It's a pull out. He lived up there. Took it right over. Yeah. <sighs> what are you gonna do? You know. Exactly. You know, you said you deal with it. You do the same thing. Too. Yeah, you, you just deal with it. You hand suck hand it up and you deal with it. That's right. You know, yeah. they try to get them back on their feet again, and then... Uh, that's right. Yeah. You want to be successful in life, you really do. Exa exactly. That's, that's the number one goal. Do whatever you can to make sure that they're, yeah. they have every opportunity in life to... Uh, See, it's different now. I was trying to tell my kids, that different than when, when we were growing up, is that my parents wanted us out of the house earlier. It was a <laughs> different ball game. I'm older than you are, but I, I remember as a kid, my parents said, you know, by the time you graduate from high school, you'll be marrying out. They didn't really want you to stay home. But you can always come back to home. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Now these kids stay at home until they're 40. I mean, you know, my <laughs> next door neighbors have half their children are still home with them. They're 40 years old, live in a garage apartment or something like that, you know, right this street here. Yeah. But, all right. They stay there 40 years old and live in New So I got like red on RH. And the white on W, this is 24 volts coming in. W is heat circuit, which closes the circuit when there's a call for heat.
So yeah, I make these educational videos and just to, you know, further the trades, you know, because we're dying. Listen, we're all, we're all dinosaurs now in this business here. Exactly. Let's see, what time is it? It's um, right oh, now. 8.32. 32. Yeah. All right. So yeah. we're going to set the time. Yeah, well, it is a dot because you know once once the old timers are gone, that's it. That's it. You know, you need a plumber in your house. Good luck. Yeah, people. You said people aren't going so, to the profession anymore like they used to, right? Is that yeah. what it is? Wow. Exactly. Well, you know what? It all comes down to uh, the school. You know, in, in school, they're not. They want you to go to college. They want you to get a master's degree, be a doctor, a lawyer, a you know, a teacher, a nurse, whatever. That's right. They're but they don't want. They, they don't push. It, listen, when I was in high school. Forget that. When I was in junior high school, yeah. we had shop, shop that's where it. you worked with wood and you built things. What? I mean, right? You had auto mechanic class. Auto mechanic class right? Shop. You had all these hands-on classes, and now they're all gone. We need and they want you. They, all they do is push it to school, push it to school, push it to school. You know, college, college, college. And guess what? You know what? If you were if you graduated high school and you go to you get, let's say you get an apprenticeship job, yeah. forget about a union or non-union, right? In four years that you'll be in college, if you're not fortunate enough to have like, you know, mommy and daddy to pay for your college, in four years, you're going to have over, you know, six figures of debt, right? And, and lucky to get a job versus being an, a plumber, electrician, a carpenter, making six figures with no debt. My son is a perfect example of that. <laughs> Two college know. educations and three student loans in debt. Right, clicked on, bless you. So that clicked on. Let's see if the zone valve opened. Exactly. Oh, that's nice. Dum, 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 dum. Oh. <laughs> I thought Mikey pipes messed up. We need power. There we go. Look at that. Now. There you go. Now the boys just got to boot up. Would you like to go over the programming? Yes, sir. Okay, it's very easy. So, um... You want to do it now so we don't have to do it yes. ever again? Yes, yes. Okay, so let me know what time at night do you leave the first floor? It's 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock. And what temperature would you like to be overnight on the first floor? Um, I would say, usually, what is it, 70 degrees is comfortable if it's clear in wintertime? Well, it's overnight. Anyone sleep on this floor overnight? Yes. Uh, I sleep oh. sometimes, yes, yes sometimes. sometimes. Sometimes or... Okay. So the, the purpose of having a programmable thermostat and programming it is to maximize efficiency. Right. To lower your fuel bill, right. your, your energy bill. I won't do that yet. So if normally, let's say everyone sleeps upstairs. Yes. And again, just a hypothetical That's what situation. I want to know, yes, normally. So normally, a mild winter, let's say a normal average winter right. night... You can set it to 64, 62 degrees. Okay. Me personally, I keep everything at 62 degrees overnight in okay. my house. But if I need more than that, I can turn it up. Correct. Well, right, 64 degrees. Okay. And at what time of morning would you like it to change? And what temperature would, would you like it to be? I would say 8 o'clock, yeah. Uh -huh. And what temperature? Back to... Well, I'm always cold. That's, I, I'm, I'm the worst of anybody. <laughs> what do you think? Sure you uh, you want to go for like say 68? 68 degrees, yes. 68 yeah. during, during the day? Yeah, and then she can always put, she got a little thing here. Okay. Again. okay. So I'm going to hit this menu button. Okay. And then we're going to hit it again. There you go. And then we're going to hit schedule and we're going to hit menu next. Now, you said 8 o'clock in the morning, right? Yes. So I'm going to change from 6 to 8. But I'm going to make it 7.30. Okay. Because it's going to take a little while for it to heat, heat up. up yeah. And then when you come down at 8 o'clock, it's nice and toasty. Good, good. We'll get, it's going to be 68 degrees. Okay, great. Okay? Now, during the day, is someone home? Yeah. yeah. So we're going to keep it at 68 degrees during the day. Right? Does that mean or, it's going to be 68 in the house? On this floor. Ugh. You want Nancy, to, that's warm enough, though. You, yeah. can, only, you can always raise it. A, always you can always it push the button. Lower. Because right. the way you can adjust it for heat. Yeah. Now, how about Saturday and Sunday? Same thing? Yeah, same, that will change, yes. Okay. Same thing, yeah. So now I'm just going to go to, to, you said 11 o'clock at night. So yeah, at 10 so. o'clock at night, it's going to go to 64 degrees. Okay, great. Right? And the weekends are going to do, do, it's going to do the same thing. Yeah, see, we never had anything done like this. And then I'm going to hit exit. Nothing so nice. now, it's 846 Monday. Yeah. It is reading 72 degrees in here. Right. And it's set for 68. Right. Now, you see how there's... It says hold right there, yeah. mm -hmm. right? It's holding the temperature. So if I raise this to 80, for yeah, example, yeah, yeah, or let's yeah. say 75, yeah. it's going to hold it there indefinitely yeah. until I run 
Got it, yes. The I program. Know that. Yeah, I know that, yeah. Mm -hmm. And if I ever want to change it again, let's say I, I want it warmer, 70, and I don't press hold, at the next program time, it's going to go back to whatever okay, program. Okay, I really have it like this. Yes, there you right. go, very so easy. So when you want to make it warmer... And just raise up, raise it up. And hit hold or no? It, you can just raise it up if you just want to do it you for, know, short for, the, for, for a short time. period of time. Okay, okay. Otherwise, if you hit hold, it's going to stay there forever. Stay there, yes. Okay, great. Thank okay. you. Okay. He's on Craigslist. Yeah, I mean, he was a nice young guy. He had never, I don't think he had never. Because you're missing, like, the electric cover here. Yeah, I would call him back only because it's falling off the wall. Oh, it is falling off? Seriously, off? yeah. Because oh. you have a gap there of at least an inch on the top okay. between the unit and the wall. And... Yeah, yeah, I don't want to mess with it because then it'll fall off the wall on me and then I got to fix it for you. Oh, <laughs> it is, look, yeah. I could fit my flashlight behind it. Is that because you didn't... It's something... I, I guess he didn't hit a stud, you know, like the frame oh. when he screwed in the, the mounting bracket. So... He, like, broke his leg when he was on the... Oh, you see, you got to do better than that, though. Better than that? Yeah, you got to really, like... Normally, like with those, I take them into the shower, oh. right, or, or a, la a, la a laundry sink, oh, okay. and you want to check them every, you know, if you're using the system all the time, check it every 30 days. Well, I can put it on myself. Okay. Yeah, and just shake them free, and okay. then shove them back in there. Got it. Appreciate okay. it. You're welcome. I really made this much, um, take care of all our personal business here, it's so important here. Well, you know, I saw the, 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 the Celsius on there, and when you were talking about being an, an, an Italian opera you know, yeah. singer... I thought maybe, just maybe, he likes it in Celsius because no, he's from Italy. You try I was like, I didn't, want to, I didn't want to assume anything. He was like, but when I saw that, and I'm like, you know, like, do you want it? And then I mentioned, do you want it in Fahrenheit? Yeah, we tried <laughs> everything. We couldn't get it, you know. Even our two sons, nobody could figure that out. Yeah, so I, uh, I, I, I see that quite frequently. And unfortunately, yeah. there's no reference in no. the manual on how, on how to correct that. No. Now, one thing before I leave, yes, and I, I appreciate your hospitality, me coming here and fixing your thermostats and this and that. Do not neglect your boiler. Now, I know we originally were here for a tune-up, but a tune-up involves making the area more accessible, and right. it's at most three hours of labor. Okay. And do the math. It's expensive, you yeah. know. But um, probably if we send one of the, the junior guys here, um, you'll probably spend maybe five, five fifty okay. with the maintenance kit. Okay. So, but don't neglect it. But we have to have access to that. Okay. okay. So that that the problem is. That's the washing machine, and this is the dryer. The washing is much heavier than the dryer. Yeah, okay. But if that piece was not there, yes. you know, someone could work there, and we, yeah. could, and we could spend two hours there yeah. and, and scrub it, clean it the right way, right, okay. and you're good to go. Okay, but fine. estimate around, you know, around 550 bucks. Okay, that's fine. Okay, okay, great. All right. For that, that thing on the left, the, the, right. the, the full boiler service. Oh. And, and if you read the manual, they, they say it should be done every year. Yeah, okay. By the way. okay. And I know you said you had Sears come in here for the number of years, but... Unless, if they were in and out of here in 20 minutes and not here for two hours, they never did anything. All I did was check that. You know, we have a hot water heater over the side. Of the tank. tank yes. up there. Yeah. Okay, great. You have, um, yeah, you have storage that, tank. Have and we have this. Yeah, an indirect water yeah, heater. Okay. Yep. Oh, what's going on with that? I don't, oh, sorry. The rust. Let's see. Get my flashlight out. Yeah, I'm sure. Ooh. Okay. Titanium. It is what it is. Yeah, it is what it is. We'll get it, we'll get it going. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, okay, appreciate it. All right. I hope you enjoyed that video. Hope it was educational. And also, hopefully I provided a little bit of entertainment. You know, at first, you know, being at the washing machine and dryer in the way, you know, I was not in a good mood. I was definitely not in a good mood, especially, especially since I'm um, hitting... Two full days, smoke free. So I am very, very irritable, and that's just stuff just pissing me off. So, but I saw zone valves there. I'm like, oh, thank God. I'm like, all right, good. <laughs> so, and you know, we spoke about you know the trades and how schools, you know, especially high schools and junior high schools, they don't have the things that they had 20 plus years ago, and it's upsetting, you know, because. You know, you, you need that. You need that foundation early on in life to see if you have, you know, mechanical abilities. And because you know the trades, we're a dying breed. We are. All right, let me get your thoughts and feedback down in the comment section down below. Would you have spent all day at this house? Because I could have easily. I could have easily have done the full maintenance there if I would have pushed it a little bit. I could have easily have, you know, gotten 
that indirect water heater. I could have gotten the parts for that, you know, the anode rod there on the indirect. I could have easily spent a day there, but I prioritized what the customer's issue was and, you know, reinforced, damn, these streets are horrible, reinforced before I left the need to schedule an annual service on his Whale McLean Ultra 3. All right. Heading over to my next job. Maybe it'll be part of this video, maybe it won't. But nonetheless, hope you enjoyed this little feast right here. And make sure you smash that thumbs up button. Smash it! St. Mike commands thee to smash that thumbs up button. And if you want any stickers, if you ain't testing your guessing, details in the description box down below. Be well, God bless, stay safe.